You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be joined on the phone. We're going to be talking all about the um, British spirit industry and how it's booming with over um, 44 new distilleries opening last year. We're going to be talking to two people who are part of this um, uh, boom. Firstly, thank you very much for joining us. If you could just introduce yourselves and tell us uh, a little bit about yourselves. Hi, thank you for having us. Um, so my name's Camilla and I'm one of the co-founders of Collagen and I'm with... I'm um, Liz, uh, another co-founder. So it's just us two. Yes. Yeah, set up Collagen and work in it. Yeah, we decided to quit our jobs and launch something we had uh, not much idea about, but it's going pretty well. So we came up with um, the creative idea last year to mix two very popular worlds of, of spirits and beauty. Um, obviously there's a lot of gins, it's a very saturated market, but we saw a gap in the market where it was actually beautifying the booze. So we actually put collagen inside gin and actually named it collagen. So how does that, that work? It's not something you immediately think of when you hear of gin. So that's that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to stand out. We wanted to have a USP. And so we are the world's first um, gin in the world to, to contain collagen in it. Um, people drink collagen on a daily basis. It plumps back the skin. And then um, we put another a, lo- a lot of kind of rejuvenating botanicals in the gin as they stand alone. But obviously, at the end of the day, we're alcohol, so we're not going to say it's going to make you look younger. However, if you're going to drink gin, you might as well drink it with the added benefit of, benefit of collagen in it. And it tastes stunning. And she looks beautiful too. She does. So I'm assuming innovation is um, very important to that kind of industry. Yeah, definitely. There's so so many gins um, available to buy, sort of new gins cropping up all over the world every day. Um, so to have an innovative product, a different product, and something that gets people talking um, is is what's needed um, or else it's, it's just kind of another gin that, that's launched and that's why we absolutely wanted to create something that got people talking and got people laughing with us like you know it, it's a surprise and delight product and and people love the puns and they love punning yeah. the word back <laughs> with us so uh, yeah you, you, you do need to be different to stand out if you see any of the press coverage on say Facebook and you know people sharing links it's usually the most shared the most commented the most liked because it's something that it resonates with a lot of people it's, um, it's, a, it's a pun that works but then also it's a beautiful looking gin and it is you know it's a great idea at the end of the day but then also we're not a gimmick we're not a flash in the pan product when people try it get their hands around it give it to friends they definitely come back and buy more because they absolutely love it and it's something that you know it's not it's not going to die down anytime soon I was going to say lots of people have um, ideas but they never carry them out you've um, you've done that has that been a, a difficult process yeah gosh the the highs and lows of starting up a new business are are huge um, something that Camilla and I have never experienced before <laughs> there are days when you want to cry and days when you literally jump up and down screaming with delight but um it's all very much worth it we have a brilliant mentor we're, at, we're also working with uh, dragon's den sarah willingham so that gives us that sort of motivation that direction that that advice that is so valuable to us yeah. and, and puts us on the right path um, we we spoke to her um, on the phone uh, a year and a half ago when we kind of had the idea and she said just go for it and then we actually met up with her again just friday gone and she's like there's probably one percent of people she talks to that actually does that just goes for it and so you know we took a punt yeah that was the re- even that was just great reassurance to hear so was it a struggle in the industry i mean i don't know much about the industry but I'm assuming you know that that sort of beauty and um, putting collagen into gin wasn't um, you know that sort of thought about so did you sort of struggle within the industry convincing people that was going to work? Well we're not we're not convincing anyone that it's anti-aging or scientifically proven or or anything like that so that we haven't come up against that criticism because that's not that's not what we're saying Um, we're we're creating a, a talk a talkable product um with with no health claims and that and, and people people have got that and and it is distilled with collagen so there's been no questions about that and we're not trying to be up there with the you know the big hitters we we're there to make people smile make people want to buy it as gifts 
Um, and, you know, it tastes great at the end of the day. Um, we're not going to replace your everyday GMT, but I think what we are going to do is, you know, we're going to be the special occasion gin. We're going to be the treat. Um, and, and it's working. A lot of people, you know, con- constantly asking where they can get it for Christmas presents and, and Valentine's Day and Mother's Day and anniversaries. So it's a, it's a different product. And, when we, you know, there's, and then there's no real competitors out there as well, which is great for us. So it's getting people talking and perhaps people trying it who wouldn't wouldn't have done before. Yeah, and we actually have a lot of people who say they don't actually like gin, but they try collagen and they, they love the taste because it's very smooth, velvety smooth taste. Um, so that's, that's brilliant to hear as well, that we're, we're getting non-gin drinkers actually drinking us. I think as soon as people see the bottle and try it, they, they realise, wow, this is something different. Yeah. Was there anything else you'd like to sort of cover or get over to our listeners or um, anywhere where they can find out more info? Yeah, I'd love to say we have just launched our mini collagen bottles. They're very cute, um, five scale. They'll be on sale soon. But if you go and check out our website, it's collagen.co.uk. And we're all across social media, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. So please do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Well, I'd like to thank the both of you very much for taking the time out to talk to us here at BRFM Bridge Radio on the Daniel Monday Night Community Show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care.